Well, he surely has the, the, the bloodlines and the, uh, on both sides of his family and the, and the instincts. Um, he's got great experience. Um, he's one of these guys that is going to come in the league and he's going to make a team and he's going to play. He's probably going to get drafted later than he would like uh, because of the speed issues. Uh, and I think the situation at the Rose Bowl, uh, you know, will get itself worked through. Mark is highly respected by people in the NFL, so whatever he says is going to be dispositive. But I, I, I do think that Max, because of his instincts and his toughness, is going to get a job in the NFL and he's going to do well. Yeah, I was a little disappointed in him as a senior. I mean, um, I loved him early in his career. I felt I don't know if it was the weight. I don't know what it was at the East-West game. I didn't see much explosion from him. So I felt like he was too heavy at the East-West game. And I think he's got to get his weight down. And he's smart. He's tough. You want to like him. But at the next level, everything gets faster. Yeah, and I think his numbers went down as the talent level around him continued to rise. I think there's so many other guys who got active and played well for, for Michigan State that it took some of the pressure off of him. Again, what happened at the end of the season, difficult situation, one of those things that came out of nowhere for all of us because I don't think anyone would have predicted Max Bolo would be in any kind of trouble. I believe that the league has a pretty good handle on what went down and what happened. The surprise for me was seeing him at the East-West game when he played in that one, and it appeared to me, and I don't know this to be certain, for me he'd put on a pretty good amount of weight. And even with that, the coaches were raving about what he did down there, how he handles the huddle, how he handles coverages, all the checks and everything flows through him. The cerebral part of the game is one of the best parts of his game, but don't think he won't strike you too. Very instinctive player. He can read and diagnose. He's obviously got uh, great football pedigree uh, with the generations of bullets that have gone through Michigan State, and he knows football extremely well. Right now, probably rated as a, a third rounder, but again, tough, gritty football player who if he were to step on the field and play, he's going to do his job, and accountable guys like that the NFL loves.